This is Skunk. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, good company. Yeah, I could spend hours here not doing a single thing. Oh, the fragrance of flowers, the freshly cut grass. Oh, this field is so relaxing. Yeah, it smells like a sea of flowers. It smells like strawberries, like lemons. Well, I smell... <clears throat> I smell... <clears throat> something stinky. Rita, why do you say that? Don't act so innocent. You could have told me about it sooner. Told you what? Come on, Moo Moo. We're the only ones here. It was smelling nice, and suddenly a stink bomb goes off. It's clear that you have let out some stinky air. Ugh! It does smell bad, but I didn't do it. Not only are you stinky, but you're also a liar. Rita, it wasn't me. So it's clear that the one who let out a stinky smell had to be you. Enough with the talk. It's smelling worse and worse, and it's becoming unbearable. Hello, good morning. Mrs. Skunk, excuse me, but are you the one who smells so bad? Well, pardon me, yes. Yes, it is me. I just can't help it. You could take a shower every morning. It wouldn't matter. I always smell like this. Well, I'm leaving. It smells awful. Yeah, me too. See you later. But it's not my fault. My whole life, everyone around me runs away and I don't have any friends. I have a terrible cold. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Skug. How are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? <sighs> I'm a little sad. You see, everyone runs away from me because of my smell. Well, you don't have to worry about me because I've got such a bad cold, my nose is all stuffed up. And I can't smell a thing, so we can go and play. You want to play with me? I've never played ball. Well, today's your lucky day. I will be right back with the ball. Hi, Boo Boo. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Milo. Do you know where the ball is? Yes, it's on the other side of the balcony. Who's he going to go play ball with? I don't know. Who are you going to play ball with? With Mrs. Skunk. But you can't. She smells bad. Yes, really foul smelling. She stinks. I know that. But since I got such a bad cold that can't smell anything, I'm going to go play with her. Yeah, but then later, you and the ball will smell bad too. When will you ever grow up, Moo Moo? But I'm just as tall as he is. He's talking about you being more mature and not such a child. Hmm, I want to go play ball too. That was a really great throw. You haven't seen a thing. Look how many times I can bounce the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're really good at bouncing the ball, Mrs. Skug. I want to play with the ball, too. Yeah, but I don't think I can handle this smell. It smells awful. He's lucky that since he has a cold, he can't tell how bad Mrs. Skunk really smells. There is a way that we can all go play with the ball. There is no way I can handle that awful smell again. This is what we'll do. If we put clothespins on our noses, we won't be able to smell a thing. And that way we can play with Milo and Mrs. Skunk. What a great idea, Alfred! Uh-huh. But doesn't it hurt a lot to put something on your nose? Mine's really sensitive. 
You need to decide if you want to stay here all by yourself or come with us and play ball. Come on, Rita, I'll put your clothespin on. All right. Ouch! That really hurts! Now I'll put one on you, Boo Boo. Ouch! Yes, it does hurt. <laughs> what one has to do to play ball. Everyone got their clothespins? But let's go play! Hey there, friends. I see that you have changed your minds. Can we play with you guys? That would be up to Mrs. Skunk to decide. Well, of course you can. Everybody, come and play. Milo, thank you for playing with me. You have made me really happy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Caterpillar. Good morning, little Caterpillar. Maybe the Caterpillar doesn't understand me, but I don't speak Caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo. I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was... Just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> but Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies, and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. 
As you wish. See you Goodbye. later. He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar! You can do it! Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar. Now he's Mr. Butterfly. Same difference. What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful. Yeah! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful. And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go. Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want. You can fly as freely as the wind. The frog that didn't know how to swim. Olga, I think we need to make a treehouse. A big one that we can all stay in together. Yeah, yeah. I'd love it if it were a nice big house with a kitchen and everything. What do you mean a kitchen? We're not going to cook in it. We're going to play. I know we're not going to cook, but it would be nice. Hello, little frog. Why are you crying? Ever since I was little, I've never known how to swim, and I don't dare go in the water. I could drown. How do you know you don't know how to swim if you never tried? You have to try at least once. That way you'll know whether you can swim or not. Mm. Uh. Come on, be brave and jump in the water. We'll be here to help you. If something happens, we'll grab you right away. Come on, you can do it. We're here for you if you need us. <laughs> little frog, little frog, don't leave. We want to help you. Poor little frog. He was so scared that he didn't even try. Let's go ask the guys if they've seen him. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have you seen a frog jumping anywhere around here? What do you mean a frog? There are no frogs here. All the frogs are in the lake. They're swimming. No, I haven't seen a thing. Hmm. Mm -mm. We saw a frog a moment ago that was really sad because it didn't know how to swim and was afraid that his friends wouldn't help him. We told him that we were going to help him, but he was really sad and jumped away. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. What are you, a parrot? I'm not a little parrot. I'm a cow. Talalo is a parrot. Talalo, Talalo, wake up. Talalo. Talalo, are you a cow? I already knew that. You are a parrot, aren't you? Well, if nobody's seen a little frog around here, we've got to keep looking for him. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Hello, 
little frog. <laughs> little frog, I know of a way for you to learn how to swim. All right, see that puddle? It's so small, so small that it's impossible to drown in it because it's not deep at all. You have to jump in and you'll see that nothing will happen to you. Come jump with me into the puddle. As you can see, it's not very deep. The water only comes up to my knees. Now you gotta copy what I do. Swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim and swim, swim. You see, it wasn't that hard. Now you've just got to do the same thing in the big lake. a cow. Moo. 